It's time to go on patrol now with CHP officer Johnny Fisher. Officer Fisher joins us now to talk about some tips to help you protect you when you're buying a vehicle online. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so what are some of the risks involved when you buy a car or a truck or whatever online? Well, uh, you know, you can be a victim of some sort of scam. You yeah. know, there's uh, there are great websites out there and there are great uh, mediums that we have online to buy and sell. Um, you know, used goods, mm -hmm. and you know those mediums are great. However, just like everything else, there's always going to be somebody out there that's mm -hmm. trying to scam the system, make a buck off unsuspecting people. So basically, I just want to come out here and talk to you guys about that. Well, can you provide uh, some tips to help us avoid some of these risks? Oh, absolutely. Um, one of the things is, would be you know, low pricing. That's always going to get our attention, right? Uh, so make sure that you check Kelly Blue Book uh, for the proper pricing for the vehicle that's being offered out there. Um, another one would be to uh, examine the photographs and make sure that they aren't taken from another website. Hmm. And so if you're interested in this vehicle, have the seller send you, you know, additional photographs. Okay. Um, the next one would be be leery of like vehicle listings from other countries or or something that's far away from you. So if the posting originates in an area, you know that isn't in yours, mm -hmm. the seller might mention like shipping methods and how mm. they would ship the vehicle for free if you send this money to this mm. quote unquote uh, account. So be 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 very very careful with things like that. Um, look for eBay services. Some people take advantage of eBay's brand name. So, oh, wait a um, second. I want to ask you about this personal story. What is okay. this? Watch out for a vehicle posting that includes the seller's personal story. What does that mean? Oh, uh, okay. So they will, um, they'll give you a, an example would be, uh, you know, it's a great, it's a great vehicle, low mileage. I understand that, but I just happened to lose my husband or wife and we're my my kids and I are looking to relocate and we're looking to liquidate everything uh, this vehicle was really near and dear to us but we want to make sure uh, you know it just is too close to us we want to get rid of it and we're just asking two thousand dollars for this sob story a sob story something to tug at your heartstrings so that you can buy into you know gotcha their story okay. Um, and then you feel like you're helping them out. You feel like you're helping them out or you know something negative could have happened in mm -hmm. your life and so you meet that connection and then mm -hmm. you feel like, oh, okay, I can relate to this person and give them my hard-earned money. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, now this so, eBay thing. What, yeah, what, what's so, wrong with the eBay brand name? Well, just people, just like we just talked about a second ago, you know, people will use something that's really great like eBay, which is a great website, great company, um, and they'll use that for their advantage to scam you. So they'll say, you know, we have an eBay account or we have uh, the vehicles in an eBay warehouse. Well, there's no e eBay like uh, personal account that you can put money in an eBay account. You have to use other other mediums in, inside yeah. there. Um, okay. There's no such thing as a as an eBay warehouse. You okay. know, lot seven. Uh, yeah. So okay. just be 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 aware of that. Okay. Um, and like I just said, payment methods. Um, you know, make sure that you're not using like cashier's checks or and you're not letting uh, them have Western any of your, your info oh no no okay none of your info don't give any of your information out to to these sellers you know um, if you do find something that you like and you use these websites that are on and uh, that are on the internet to buy and purchase items make sure that you go to some place that's uh, uh, well traveled you know some place that there's a lot of people around um, don't you know, yeah, my address is yeah. Oh, right. Blah right, blah right. blah. You know, come to my house. That's not safe. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Even if it's somebody that's great, you always have to protect yourself, your family, mm -hmm. and you don't want somebody just kind of looking mm -hmm. around. So the bottom line is, if you look at something that you're wanting to buy, like a vehicle, and you make a face like, oh my gosh, that is a great price for that vehicle. If you make that face, <laughs> chances are it's not going to be uh, something that's good. You know, you'll see vehicles one dollar or um, in, in my two for one. Yeah, so. you know, uh, we were, uh, personally we yeah. were looking for a vehicle for my son, and uh, we saw we came across this uh, this vehicle, a Ford F one hundred and fifty, great mileage, uh, two thousand five, two thousand wow. dollars, and we've been looking for a while locally and. You know, just kind of you know looking over everything. So we we're like, oh my gosh, making you that gave face. that look, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that is it. Oh man, this okay, is too well, good to be true. Okay, how did you find true. out it was a scam? Well, we started uh, we started uh, inquiring about the vehicle uh, via email, and 
another one of the clues is look for misspelled words. Look for, mm. you know, grammar that, mm -hmm. that isn't good. But uh, we started seeing that, and so we were like, okay, well, that's a little odd. Um, without even being prompted, mm -hmm. they told us that, you know, there was a death in the family. They were oh. looking to relocate. Uh -huh. um, the vehicle was over nine hours away in an eBay warehouse. Oh, my goodness. And they were wanting us to wire money to an eBay account. And, okay. and no so, way. well, we were just like, ah, you know, my wife and I were talking to yeah. each other and we're like, I, I don't know, let's, let's just look up, uh, you know, sc uh, vehicle scams on the internet. And sure enough, every single one, it was almost like an order of what yeah. we just did right there. Whoa. Bam, bam, bam. Now, what if you do, uh, what if you do, what if you're doing it and, and, and you're not giving that face? And it seems like this is actually legit. You know, maybe it's closer to home. Mm -hmm. How do you make sure that what you're buying is not stolen? Yeah, okay. Uh, so you, you want to look at certain things like uh, salvage titles and you want to make sure that uh, because if a vehicle is salvaged, you know, it could have been involved in a, in a small wreck or a bigger wreck, and you don't really know like what's happening with the vehicle. And sometimes uh, people will buy these vehicles uh, at auctions, and they'll be dealers, so they won't have to register the vehicle as as a person. They register in in a dealer sense, so they don't have to get these these things verified. So let's say you did buy a salvaged vehicle, you'd have to then take that vehicle title all the registration, anything that's been replaced on the vehicle, provide receipts for everything that's been replaced. If mm. not, then you have to remove it and then purchase it and then get a VIN verification through the Highway Patrol and through DMV and it just turns into a huge nightmare. So really do your homework, do your research when you're out there. Um, a vehicle is something that can be, you know, great. Um, take it, you know, run it by a mechanic. Check Kelly Blue Book. Do all your homework. Just because a vehicle is nineteen hundred dollars and you feel like it's a great deal, chances are there might be yeah. something else going on behind the scenes. Okay. So just be leery and uh, you know do do what's right. Trust that gut feeling and that face. <laughs> Don't. Huh? Uh. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Officer Johnny Fisher from the CHP joining us once again. If you would like a link to the CHP and helpful driving tips, log on to KMPH.com. Click on Patrol tab from the Great Day drop-down menu, and you can check them out at the Grizzly game today. Yes, I'll be there. Go, go give him a high five.